Hello, Mutil friends. I'm trying something new today. I'm recording a video with Cities 97 in the background. I hope you like it. I hope it doesn't distract you from what I'm about to say. Okay, um, in this video, we are working on what it looks like to the teacher after students take a digital quiz in Moodle, how you can analyze the results or get the scores and whatnot. So to do that, I know that my Karis had a lot of students take quizzes in Moodle last year, so that's why I've landed in his page. Now you can see in this top block, the, all these things that are grayed out are simply because he hid those pieces of content, those quizzes, after the students took them, but I'm still able to see the results logged in as a teacher. So what you would do is this, if you click on the name of the quiz, you're going to notice that there's 101 attempts to this quiz. And what I could do on the left hand side in the navigation box, if I've um, opened that final review, is I go over here and as a result of me going to that page, it puts the little results tab here as well. So I'm going to click on that results tab. And then you can see that there's grades, responses, statistics. Um, you could do some manual grading if you wanted to override some things and whatnot. So, but your basic table here is, um, is a kind of like a spreadsheet. And all of these headers at the top allow you to sort by those column headings. So for example, in most cases, you would want to, um, sort by last name, or in a European country that's going to be called surname, so now we have it alphabetical. And, or you could sort by grade, or you could sort by when they completed the test, if you're looking for somebody particular in particular. Now if you're also just looking for an individual student, you can filter by first or last name. If I click on any of these letters, like G for surname, I'm just going to see those results from the students whose last name begins with G. So um, that is all important. And you have some preferences for your results page. You have the ability here to filter down and see all those who have not attempted and or all those who have attempted the quizzing. Um, so you have different ways of reducing how many you see. Now, you also, I'm not going to show you how to do it in this video, but you could, if you wanted to, you could um, create groups within Moodle, and then you could filter by the group. So if you wanted to just see those attempts from block one, you could have those all grouped together. Now, it's important to know that you can download these results. I'm not sure that you would need to, but if you did, I would recommend that you download into an Excel spreadsheet and then you could open it in Excel on your computer. So let's take a look at what are some of the other things besides this grades tab. So responses. If you click on responses, you are going to see, wow, um, each person individually, and then I'm scrolling to the right now. I have my trackpad set up so I could do a two finger scroll to the right, and I could just glance at that first individual, and every response, those that are highlighted in green, that person got correct, and those um, highlighted in um, red, they got incorrect. That might be a nice way if you were sitting with that student reviewing the test that you could, um, you know, choose the surname and just tease down to a particular person and, and look at how they did on a test. All right, statistics. So if I click on statistics on the left hand side. All right, here we're looking at the statistics. Um, this looks new to me for a Moodle 2, so I like it, except that I'm not a, a stats person. Maybe a math person would enjoy some of these statistics like the, sco the score distribution, kurtosis. Um, that's cool. Um, I have no idea what it means, but there's a couple things here that you might find interesting, which looks like it's the summary of data based on everybody's attempt. And I have to say that um, I'm not uh, have I don't have a whole lot of idea about what all this quiz analysis means, but it might be a, a math teacher's fantasy. So you can see all that we have there for the statistics. 
And lastly, the manual grading. And in this case, um, this was a completely multiple choice test. If you had some things like short answer or essay questions, you would have to go in and do some manual grading for, the, for that before the students got their final scores. So I hope that helps with you knowing where you would go to um, see the results in a Moodle quiz.